Assalamu alaikum. How are you people? I hope all of you are fine. Acha ji, I promised ke main aap logon ko dusri presentation dikhaungi about the uh, evolution of seed. Ye bahut achhi presentation hai, a very good presentation. So, chaliye dekhte hain. We have the presentation with us about the evolution of seed. This is a very good presentation. The other one is also very good, but it was not in so much of detail. This is a very beautiful detailed presentation which you people will surely like. Okay. What we will be seeing in this presentation is evolution of heterospore, retention and germination of the megaspore within the megasporangium, development of protective layers around the megasporangium. We have already studied this lecture. Reduction to a single functional megaspore, development of the embryo sac inside the megasporangium, modification of the distal end of megasporangium for the pollen capture. Now, all seed producing plants are called spermatophytes. What are they called? They are called spermatophytes. Seed plants, spermatophytes, they predominate over the non-seed plants. That means okay, they are stronger and they exist at a very, very higher level as compared to the non-seed producing vesicular plants. One of the most significant events in history of land plants was the development of the seed habit, one very important thing. About 390 million years ago, approximately, and first complete seeds were observed somewhere around the late Devonian period, roughly 365 million years ago. This is a seed. A seed is defined as a fertilized ovule. An ovule is an integumented, indehiscent megasporangium, integumented, indehiscent. Megasporangium. Integuments are specialized protective coverings around the megasporangium, which may vary in number. The various steps that are involved through towards the seed habit are first of all the development of heterospore, then the retention and germination of the megaspore within the megasporangium, development of protective layers around the megasporangium, reduction to a single functional megaspore for sporangium. Development of the embryo sac or the megagametophyte in the sporangium, then the modification of the distal number of megasporangium for the pollen capture. Primitive vascular plant plants, evolution of heterospore. Primitive vascular land plants produce one kind of spores, a condition which is known as homospore. We have already discussed it in detail in the previous lecture. We had many sketches in that lecture. During the early phase of evolution, some plant groups started producing two different types of spores. The smaller ones were the microspores and the larger ones were the megaspores. The microspores produced inside the microsporangium germinate to form the male gametophyte or the microgametophyte, whereas the megaspores germinated to form the female gametophyte or the megagametophyte. Homospore, same types of spores, then heterospore. Fewer in number, larger in size, same type of spores, larger in number, smaller in size. Reduction to one functional megaspore and closure of the megasporangium within the integuments to form the ovule. When fertilized, the ovule is going to become the seed. This is a very beautiful advancement showing the development of the seed. Retention and germination of megaspore within the megasporangium during the usual reproductive cycle in the heterosporous vascular plants. Heterosporous vascular plants producing two types of spores. The megaspores are used to shed, were used to be shed and dispersed soon after the formation in order to germinate into the female. Matab, megaspore ko chhod diya jata tha. They used to be dispersed and they used to germinate independently. However, like Opsidamase, Lajinella Kendra, the megaspore was not immediately dispersed. Thode Erse Kilie Uskur Rakhagyata. A bad dispersion, Chiridi. Yaha say retention ka process kuata. We can see K it has started. In others, the megaspore is permanently retained within the megasporangium. Here, within uh, it confines the megasporangium wall, and the megaspore germinates to form the egg within the female gametophyte. Some branch-like structures of the sporophyte surrounding the megasporangium. Some branch-like structures diffuse around, and then they form the protective envelope, which is called the integument. 
The Vagas pharyngeum tightly locked by the integuments becomes totally unbreakable, totally indehiscent. This important change led to the evolution and formation of the ovule. Ovule is an integumented, indehiscent megasporangium. Each megaspore mother cell within the megasporangium reduction to a single functional megaspore per sporangium is used to produce four gametophytes. There was a competition for space and food among the four gametophytes. Soon, the early vascular plants, they adopted a new strategy. Only one megaspore, matlab kyunke char the, they used to fight for food, they used to compete with each other for food. So, uh, one, the fittest was then going to survive and the rest were aborted. So, out of four, three were aborted and one was going to survive. You see, these four were meiosis. Ke baad, they may say ek rahe ke. And baki tino, they are aborted. <coughs> Development of an embryo sac within the megaspore. A single healthy megaspore that has been kept inside the megasporangium germinates to form an egg containing the female gametophyte, which is called the embryo sac. Modification of the distal end of the megasporangium for pollen capture. The distal end of the megasporangium became modified for capturing the pollen grain microspore containing the male gametophyte. This is the pollen grain, the microspore containing the male gametophyte. The pollen, after being trapped in the distal cavity of the megasporangium, produces the pollen tube, which carries the male gametes deep into the embryo sac to fertilize the egg, forming the zygote that will later on form the embryo. The megasporangium, the ovule, integumented megasporangium, the ovule, after fertilization is now going to form the seed, and the integuments will form the seed. Why did seeds evolve? Seeds offer maximum degree of protection to a developing embryo under unfavorable terrestrial conditions. Very important point. The development and evolution of seed habit was a great success and a giant leap, which ultimately enabled plants to colonize land permanently. If you have any questions, please do tell me ask me in the comment section if you want any lecture any special lecture do let me know i will try to record the lecture for you people as soon as possible tell your friends about this channel tell them to join this channel and do give me any good suggestions if you people have them okay hoping to hear from you people see you next time allah hafiz <laughs>